By the way, Captain. Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. It means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. My thoughts precisely. Now, as of yet, there has been no response, and clearly none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Nice. Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Clever, but no, not necessarily. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kassler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. And city with walls. Hmm, quite a throwback, wouldn't you agree? Welcome to Akira City. Need some work done? 
Sure, how about it?
the name of that guy? I know you're dead. You didn't hear this from me. a brief tour and I'm happy to discuss the city's history as well. I have artifacts that date all the way back to the time of Solomon Coe himself. There are some things I would kill to have. I mean, wait, <laughs> not literally, but I would pay a lot for. You see, the Coe family lost a treasure trove of old historic documents ages ago, and those documents would be priceless to have here. Their absence pains me. Jacob Coe and I have talked at length, and his great-grandfather was... a troubled man. He sold off various historic documents to cover debts. They could be anywhere. If you find any of that trove of documents, I will pay dearly for it. It probably is, but I have to try. Think of the future generations that could benefit from seeing such important history. Let me see. Oh dear lord. It's real. It, it still exists. This is the original charter for Aquila City. And you can see their signatures. This is really the birth of the Free Star Collective. The core philosophy of limited government and inalienable rights, all here. Thank you. If you find anything else, please come back. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. Most in the Collective aren't overly fond of MAST or the UC in general. I tend to share that sentiment. Lost a cousin in the Colony War, you know. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry but it's staying in storage. Hi! Please feel free- I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. Hmm. I guess I don't want to impede anything important. Handing over that branch is starting to look pretty good. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. Let's pop into Outland while we're here, and see if Joe has anything useful to add to our arsenal. I hope Aquila 
city has what we need. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, perhaps minus a few shavings. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. Right, so we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. And this was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. <laughs> I'm quite certain you couldn't achieve the necessary register. Far too low for human vocal cords. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. You're right. There's a chance that there could be some minor adverse side effects, but none would be life-threatening. We won't play the broadcast loud or long enough to cause any major or permanent damage to humans or other organic life. And aside from that, if we don't calm this tree down soon, well, I fear that the vibrations it's emitting will eventually reach such strength it could severely damage our internal organs. Then I fear all this hard work will be for naught. I would hate to see this tree come down, but we may be out of options. I have no doubt that you will. Great day. Don't you agree? I heard the mantis is back. They cleared the Well, that depends. Are you a foodie or a shopper? You should check out the commercial district. There's some cool shops there. And if you want a whole new look, there's even an enhance. Take care.
already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that worked. I don't know. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis, though they don't know it.